All right, guys, welcome back to Crazy for KV's RC. I'm Tim, welcome back to the RC Garage Tour. We're starting to get up there into the vehicles that I uh, actually enjoy driving and will take out quite a bit. But for this week, we have one that I've never driven. Um, but I did put it at this point in the list because I know it's gonna outperform those ones lower on the list and it's just a little bit nicer of a setup. So this week we're talking about my TRX4 Sport uh it's a blue one back there on the shelf we'll look at it on the bench here in a minute but honestly this kind of spawned out of just opportunity i bought some electronics that i didn't use in another build so i had a motor had an esc i think i had the servo as well already and was in a uh, hobby town and they had it on sale i don't know if Traxxas was running the sale at the time but kind of couldn't say no uh, i actually already had the ugly green one you guys saw a couple weeks ago but it's already been kind of mutilated and hacked up and i wanted a more traditional sport body and really a dedicated like trailer uh, trail truck trail basher so went with the 2700 kv polar pro it's running a mamba x i'm running 3s it could probably take 4s but it's got plenty of wheel speed on 3s um, the reason I ran the Mamba X is because it has the auxiliary channel and I run the drag brake on there and just shut that drag brake off. And, uh, so you can actually like kind of bash around on it and the TRX fours are nice and durable, so they'll handle it pretty well. Run a Reefs triple five servo, decent servo, a little slow. Uh, I may swap. I've got a couple trucks with Reefs raw 500s, which is a pretty fast servo and known to be very durable. So I might actually do a swap at some point. I was sitting on uh, Proline Super Swampers, G8 compound, 4.75 tire. Very well regarded tire, ran by a lot of people. It's all sitting on Incision, Roswell Beadlocks. Nice, a little more budget friendly than the Vanquish line of products, but honestly, you really get the same quality of machining. Let's go over to the bench. Let's check the truck out. And then we're gonna take it outside and we're gonna run it a little bit. My first time driving it, I've had it built for probably six or seven months. Um, and uh, it's just sat there. I already yeah. talked about most of the stuff, so we'll just get right into it. We're just gonna pop the body off. I got a My Trick RC light kit on here, so body tethered right there. So we got a Polar Pro 2700 in there. Castle, Mamba X, Reefs Triple Five. I got those wheels and tires. The uh, Incision KMC Roswells, the Super Swampers. They just have stock foams in them, so they're really squishy. But I don't mind it for what this truck is meant for. It's kind of just intended as like a little rock slash trail bomber. Speaking of bomber, put a bomber interior in there, and uh, just tapes up to the front. Uh, there's these two 3D printed brackets that go on the back. A little, a little fingerprinty, a little dusty, but you get the idea. Standard bomber interior. Um, pretty versatile. They fit a lot of things. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm running stock sliders, bumpers, um, drive shafts, gearing. So let's uh, let's get it out and uh, let's take it for a drive. All right. We're in my favorite spot again, just up here off the water a little bit. I got my uh, TRX4, um, kind of my trail basher, uh, a little bit different, way different setup than the green one you guys already saw with the power wagon body. This is brand new, never been ran, which is why you guys are seeing it at this point in the list. Um, kind of put in the middle. I think it's gonna do pretty well. It does have that full body with the accessory rack on the back, but, um, yeah, let's check it out. We'll drive down to the water. All right, guys, we're just going to drop into the lake uh, shore that I like to run at. Uh, this is the first running video I've done with any of my garage tours. So all the vehicles after this will have running footage with it. Didn't have time to get out for those first few, and they're just not vehicles I um, like to drive all that much. But except for the gatekeeper, I do drive that one a good bit but it's kind of taking the back seat as my collection has expanded. So 
this uh, area is not super technical, but it is fun. So it's got lots of uh, kind of a sandstone. It's kind of that dirty, um, kind of falls apart when you bang like metal or hard plastic against it, but uh, not the grippiest rock in the world. And this is actually a pretty cold morning. It was in the high 40s and kind of early in the day. So everything's still kind of slick and wet but you can see those super swampers uh, actually perform pretty well out here they're very versatile tire they do well in dirt they do well in mud they do pretty well on rock as well this uh, TRX4 is a uh, is a pretty fun truck especially in this stock sport configuration um, those wide bumpers can be a little bit of a hindrance and uh, pumpkins on the TRX4 axles are a little bulky and just not very streamlined so they they like to get hung up a little bit but no big deal this truck is somewhat top heavy it's got that full body um, you kind of see it lumbering around there but it can make some pretty good climbs the video especially this is a GoPro kind of flattens everything out really bad wide angle lens so um, some of the stuff is quite a bit steeper than what it looks it's not the most complicated terrain in the world, but it is a fun place to get out and run a little bit. If you enjoy public areas like a lake or a park or anything that's not yours, pick up your trash, please. Like, that's all I'll say. All right, rant over, back to crawling. Yeah, just take care of those public places. Um, we will lose them eventually if they things get littered too bad, so. There's lots of good lines basically for every vehicle. Um, really, like my Capras and the more open wheel, lighter weight vehicles, they do um, pretty much conquer everything out here with relative ease. But any scale style truck, anything with a real body, fenders, uh, some bumpers, it's going to be challenged pretty easily out here. This was an absolute like awesome day. Uh, kind of gave me an excuse getting this running footage um, to get out and run a bunch of trucks. Even this one, one that I had never driven before. And as you guys can see, it actually did pretty well. Here I was able to steer out of a almost rollover situation. Here we put that wheel speed to use and almost stuck the landing. All right, I hope you guys liked my blue TRX4 um, first run. I like it, tons of wheel speed. The vehicles with the most wheel speed that I have are typically TRX4s for that reason. They can kind of handle it. And they're a little more budget friendly and running plastic axles. So if you break one or really ding them up or beat them up, it's not as bad. All right, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for checking out Crazy for KV's RC and making it to the end of the video. If you like what you saw, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's something you'd like to see me do or do differently. Open to feedback. Um, check me out on Instagram. That's crazy for KVs underscore RC. Link down below as well. And uh, first episode of the podcast is live. And you can find that on Spotify or Anchor FM. Links in the description. Thanks again. And I'll see you guys next time.